morning guys and welcome back to my channel it is a sunday today and i just finished my fasted cardio session it was 60 minutes on incline and i'm just about to go downstairs to make breakfast usually for like saturdays and sundays i actually like to take my time to cook breakfast sit down and eat you know because usually during the weekdays it's kind of like a grab and go situation and this morning i kind of felt like making some french toast so i'll be taking you guys through that but anyways i decided that i wanted to film a vlog today because i'm going to go get my groceries sundays are like my grocery shopping day so I thought I might just like film and take you guys through like what I usually get from the supermarket, you know, um, to make my meals. And I'll also be showing you guys like how I meal prep everything. But before I go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because it really supports me and I honestly like really appreciate all you guys that watch my vlog and you know, send me really nice messages. So yeah. So, I finally got everything prepared here, and sorry it's a little bit loud, uh, the dryer is on right now, so I hope you guys can hear me. But anyways, um, I'll be making some protein French toast, and this is literally like the easiest recipe ever. I got it from Greg Doucette, and ever since I tried it out, it's honestly been life-changing. I've been having it a lot. and. Honestly, it's so healthy and low calorie and I'm able to fit it in my meals because you know Usually I have like egg white and one egg and two pieces of toast and the only difference that this makes is that I'm adding Stevia flavor drops and cinnamon and dipping my toast into the egg whites to make the protein French toast So there literally is no difference But anyways, let's get started. I'll also be making like a uh, normal sunny side up egg on the side using oil spray so while my eggs cooking I just added some egg whites in here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some flavor drops. These are the zero cal toffee flavor drops from my protein. So just a few drops of that. A little bit more. They kind of work kind of like um, vanilla extract and for that sweetness, um, I just add stevia. I don't use the whole packet, I just use like half because I feel like that's sweet enough. And then, can't forget the cinnamon. I love cinnamon so much. And you just whisk everything together. So that's what the mixture looks like. It looks disgusting, but we're gonna dip the bread into that. Oh my god. It's raining really loudly. Oh shit. Anyways, as Greg Dissett would say, use regular ass bread. You don't have to go fancy with this. So I just have regular whole wheat bread. Okay, two pieces of that. So my sunny side up egg is done and now we're going to lower the heat and cook the protein French toast. So. Get it nice and coated. And if you have any mixture left, you can just pour it on top of the French toast. So this is what it looks like when the berries start to melt. 
and honestly, it's the best thing ever. Hey guys, so right now I'm at the grocery store. It's kind of like the Thai version of Costco, so I'll be getting all my groceries, but it's honestly really loud in here, so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I get, and I'll take you through everything when I get home. supermarket was really loud so I wasn't gonna go through what I bought there so I might as well just unpack my bag and show you guys here at home this is my shopping bag it's quite large and I literally get the same things every week just because I eat the same foods all the time so these are basically my staples for every week First, let's start with the vegetables. I have some kale here. Actually, no, they're like collard greens. I love them so much and I feel like my stomach digests them really well. So that's like my go-to choice of vegetables. I also have um, zucchini here. Um, then I have some tomatoes because I always make my own pico de gallo and I kind of like sprinkle that onto my lettuce all the time. Then I also have here my lettuce. Um, right now because I'm on very low carbs, I tend to pack on a ton of veggies on my meals and I feel like lettuce is like super great because it's super low in calories. Then I also have my egg whites, of course, I have them for breakfast, meal one, and also meal four. Then here I have my chicken breast, so I buy a huge pack and there's about like seven of them here. I also got Japanese sweet potatoes. This is not a staple in my diet, but I just feel like having it for breakfast this coming week. Usually I have two pieces of toast, but I think I'm gonna swap it for Japanese sweet potatoes for some days. So I'll have like 100 grams of that. And for seasonings and condiments, I am running out of salt. So here I got some pink Himalayan salt. I got some garlic powder, which I put on like my chicken breast all the time. And my favorite, which is yellow mustard. But yeah, this is basically everything that I got. It's super cheap. Like I got all of this for around 650 baht, which I will convert here to like US dollars. I also have some rice in my fridge that's already like pre-cooked. Um, and I also have my bread already. And I also have some tilapia in the freezer. So that's something that I don't have to buy this week. That's basically it. Before I show you guys like how I make my meals, which is super quick, by the way, I'm just going to do my second cardio of the day, which is sprints. So I'm gonna go do that now and I'll catch you guys later. So now I'm just about to prep my food. So I'm going to be prepping the sweet potato and chicken at once because I'm just gonna put everything in the oven and for the tilapia, I'm going to fry it up on a pan here. So um, I have to make dinner for tonight as well. So I'm gonna do tilapia for three meals and I'm gonna bake enough chicken for four meals. So that will get me through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and tonight. Um, I tend to meal prep every three days just so that my food stays fresh. And um, all the chicken here, whatever I don't use, I just put them in the freezer and they still stay really fresh. The same thing goes for tilapia, but I think I'm gonna end up using all of it. So yeah, first let's start with the sweet potato. So I'm gonna go wash this, scrub the skin on the outside, 
and then I'm gonna come back and poke some holes in it before I put it in the oven. Now for the chicken, it's gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna weigh out all my chicken, cut it up in um, longer slices, and then I'm gonna put seasonings on it, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that after I weigh out my chicken, I actually like rinse them again with water. Like, I just wanna be safe. I don't know if they're contaminated or not, you know, from that pile of chicken, so yeah. And for the seasonings, I'm going to be adding this very last bit of the pink Himalayan salt that I have. Um, some black pepper, paprika powder. I love this so much on chicken. It gives it that like smoky flavor. Italian seasoning and also garlic powder. And that is pretty much all the chicken seasoned. So I kind of cut them up like this just because I feel like it soaks up the flavor so much better and I want the chicken to cook through. And yeah, this goes in the oven now. So I will put the oven on at 220 degrees Celsius and I will put everything in. The chicken should be done um, after 25 minutes or 30 minutes and the potato will stay there for 50 minutes and I will kind of like flip the potato through halfway. So while the chicken is cooking, I weighed out my tilapia. I'm gonna put everything on the pan with the same seasonings. And after they're cooked on like both sides, I kind of scramble them a little bit because I feel like that gives them more volume and it makes me feel like I'm eating more than I actually am. So I have my veggies heated up here. Here are some collard greens and zucchini that I already prepped from like two days ago. I'm just gonna put all the tilapia here because like the cooked weight is obviously different. So I'm gonna weigh it out and then divide it by three so that I have three equal portions. And yeah, I'll put the rest in these Tupperwares. So here the chicken has just come out of the oven. This is like straight out of the oven so I'm gonna let it cool down and I'm going to divide it the same way I did with the tilapia. So this is pretty much all my meals ready to go. Life just got that much easier. And this is the finished sweet potato. I wish you guys could like smell it right now. It smells amazing and Wow, I honestly just want to eat this right now. So the sweet potato is also finally done and for that one I'm just going to put it in a separate Tupperware and I'm just going to weigh it out whenever I'm going to eat it. And for the rest of my other meals, like meal four, which is basically my egg white meals, I just make them fresh. Um, that's the same with breakfast because I just like it that way. So I pretty much only prep my meals for meal two and meal three just because, you know, I'm working from home. I don't have time to cook. So this just makes my life like a hell lot easier. And literally, as you just saw, it takes no effort whatsoever. I mean, a little bit, um, but it doesn't take long. You just put everything in the oven and it's all ready to go. And guys, your food does not have to be bland. Season your food. 
it makes the food taste so much better like you don't have to be eating bland chicken or bland veggies trust me the combination of the seasonings that i use you should definitely try it out it just makes chicken or any other kind of meat just taste so much better and whether or not you're actually competing or just trying to live a healthier lifestyle i think it's so important that you know you eat good food you enjoy your food because that's the only way you're going to be able to sustain for the long term and we're all here for the long term not short term guys and that is pretty much it for today's vlog i honestly feel so disgusting right now i just really really need to take a shower so i'm gonna take the rest of the evening off to just chill out watch some youtube videos and i also still have my last meal to eat so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um enjoyed watching me cook a little bit and go through each of the steps which isn't much don't forget to click that subscribe button like this video and i'll see you in my next vlog bye